the annual Philippines United States Balikatan exercise is one of the long standing activities between our two countries that has paved the way for an enhanced defense cooperation, military to military collaboration, and mutual commitments, which are all aimed at promoting our shared goals of a more secure global community. After two years of non conduct of this important activity due to the pandemic, Given the success and lessons from the 2022 Balikatan exercise, there were enough reasons to put a framework together for this year's exercise that would build on all that had been previously achieved. Under our modernization program, an application of newly developed doctrines with the end in view of projecting a credible defense posture. These key points and the opportunity to hone other competencies such as cyber defense operations, optimized utilization of the AAP joint training areas under the Enhanced Defense Cooperation Agreement, as well as strengthened interagency collaboration are part of the exercise goals that we believe will make for a dynamic and relevant iteration of our Balikatan exercise. What makes it more noteworthy is that this year's event, the 38th Philippine-US Balikatan iteration will have a total of 17,680 participants, making this exercise the largest ever of the AFP and the US Armed Forces, as well as our counterparts from the Australian Defense Force. We have also taken the initiative to expand this year's exercise by inviting military observers from our partners in the region and other nations. Under the International Observers Program, and we believe that the Balikatan exercise is also an opportunity to deepen our collaborations that would enable appropriate and timely actions whenever and wherever needed. On this note, let me also welcome our exercise observers from our ASEAN neighbors, our friends, our allies, and partners. Your presence today makes this event a collaboration that goes beyond borders. The Philippine-US Balikatan 2023 is indeed another defining moment as the magnitude of this year's exercise is a testament to the deepening alliance between and among our countries. It is a testament to the deepening alliance between and among our countries. Among the major events planned for this year's exercise include the command post exercise, cyber defense exercise, field training exercise, and lastly, humanitarian civic assistance. All of these major events are intended to ensure the achievement of the end state of our Balikatan 2023 exercises, which is to further develop mutual defense capability to enhance cyber defense operations and strengthen the country's maritime security and domain awareness, among others. Yesterday, we commemorated a defining part of our history, the Araw ng Kagitingan, or the Day of Valor, in uh, Mount Samat, in Pilar Bataan, where uh, I and uh, the Charity Affairs attended. We commemorated the heroism of those who fought in, in Bataan 81 years ago. While that battle in that fateful day led to the fall of Bataan, the heroic event showcased the valor and patriotism of both the Filipino and American soldiers who fought side by side to defend our motherland. Indeed, there are no better words than shoulder to shoulder to describe how we stood together over the years, strong and unwavering to address our vulnerabilities and ensure that both our armed forces are primed to promptly and effectively respond to any situation, crisis or emergency under all circumstances. As the collaboration and partnerships grow in strength and reach, we not only amplify and upgrade the interoperability of our armed forces for mutual defense, humanitarian assistance, and disaster response, but just as importantly, contribute to the peace and stability of the Indo-Pacific region in a definitive manner. In closing, I urge all the participants joining in this year's exercise to embody professionalism, excellence, and camaraderie as we maximize the opportunities offered to us in all these events. Likewise, we should also take advantage of the opportunities from this exercise to learn from each other 
develop friendship, foster stronger teamwork and cohesion, and improve our competencies. I am confident that both our armed forces shall reap invaluable benefits from this Balikatan exercise as we continue to pursue our shared goals of regional peace, security, and stability. And so, by the authority vested in me as the Chief of Staff, Armed Forces of the Philippines, I now formally declare the Philippines United States Exercise Balikatan 38-2023 open. Mabuhay ang sandatang lakas ng Pilipinas. Mabuhay ang United States in the Pacific Command. Maraming salamat sa inyong lahat. Thank you, sir.